Do you want to know how to add a MIDI keyboard to your home PC setup uh, using Reaper? Well, I'm here to show you how. So for this video, I'm going to be adding this LPK25 keyboard from Akai. Uh, it's a cute little thing, and uh, it's got some good key response on it. Really enjoy using this one. And I'm going to show you how to add this into your Reaper session and start using it as a synth. So like most MIDI keyboards these days, it comes with a simple USB cord. Plug that in first, then open your Reaper session. Okay, so now I've got the keyboard plugged into my PC, uh, just the USB connection, and I've now got a Reaper session open. On the screen, you can see just a new blank session here. So I'm gonna go into Options, and then down to Preferences, or you can hit Control-P, and you can see the LPK25 MIDI keyboard is sitting there, it's disabled at the moment. You wanna right click, choose Enable Input, and then down here as well, I'm gonna enable it as an output also and then hit apply and okay and then from here we'll now just double click in this space up here to get a new channel strip and we're going to set this as a, a midi input so rather than being an instrument input we're going to click on record and then under here you can see initially it's picking up my mic but we're going to switch the input to midi lpk25 that's the keyboard i'm using and then all channels so now you can see the mic isn't being picked up anymore and if I start hitting keys we're getting some response there from the keyboard. I've not got any sounds yet but obviously if you just quickly add your effects say we want to use a synth Woo! We got keyboard sounds! There you go, very quick, very simple just plug and play and a few clicks on the mouse and you're away. Thanks for watching. If you found that interesting, then do please give it a thumbs up. If you found it useful, then why not subscribe as I'll be putting out more tutorial videos like this in the near future. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.